One bit of good news as far as the government secretaries are concerned is that the main bridge that links Leyte, particularly Tacloban, with the rest of the country, the northern part of the country, has been cleared. So they say that aid uh, trucks can now cross this bridge and get to Tacloban via that route as opposed to just having to rely on a very limited number of C-130 flights or indeed chopper hires that are being used. There are also ships underway that are carrying rele relief goods. We understand but the seaport on many of these islands also remains quite badly damaged so trying to transport that onto land is also going to prove problematic so the fact that this main bridge has been reopened is a bit of good news but also with that has come the report that some of the aid trucks were actually being mobbed by survivors who were fighting to take some of the food and material on those trucks for themselves before they could get even properly organized and distributed any other way Amaga, any update on the death toll? Because we've been seeing some pretty large numbers being thrown around, but nothing official, is that right? Yes, indeed. The official death toll is at a rather conservative, even by the government's admission, of less than 300 people. Now, this is because they've always been very cautious about announcing a larger number until they've either identified uh, the remains or indeed tagged the bodies. But the government officials themselves are saying they expect it to go as high as 10 to possibly 20,000. And that's possibly just in Leyte province alone. Now we must remember that Haiyan crossed 44 provinces in the Philippines and has affected more than 9.5 million people. That's actually a tenth of the total population of this country.